Hey guys, Alex Mizukin here from Mr. Build It, and welcome to my house. So today's episode is gonna be a little bit different where we take an entry level basic thermostat that we all have in our house, and we're gonna turn into that, the Ecobee 4, now compatible with Amazon Alexa. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Let's go. Now before we get into the what's and the how's, let me show you the why. Hey Alexa, what's the weather today? In Boise, it's 57 degrees Fahrenheit. 57 degrees. Today. So Alexa is basically my only smart home system application. So I wanted to expand that. The good folks at Home Depot decided to send me a few little things to kind of deck out my house. So one of the first things they sent me was the Ecobee 4. And I'm really excited about this part. It pairs up with your Amazon Alexa. So I'm really excited about it. Let's see how easy or hard it is to install this thing. Let's go. All right, let's get started. So I'm no rocket scientist, but I'm gonna say the way this thing comes off is like that. I'm gonna need a screwdriver. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's no going back. Okay, um, I'm gonna leave you guys right there. Um, we'll figure it out. One of the best parts about projects is your level of commitment. We are now officially 100% committed to installing this thermostat. So when it comes to electronics, here's a pro tip. Take a picture of the wires and where they go. That way when you match them up with the second device, it's a little bit smoother process. I know this because I screwed this up once at my old house and I had to have a guy come out and he said like, yeah, you put the wrong wire. We got our stuff. Step one, power off your heating, ventilation, and air conditioning HVAC system by using the master switch or circuit breaker box. This is important for your safety. Well, safety is important, important safety is to me. Let's go. You're done. Affirmative, we do not have a C wire on our wall. Yes, continue guide one, no continue guide two. Find guide two, flip over to guide two. Guide two install you could be without a wire C. You will need a power extender kit located in our box. Let's go get it. There it is. Okay. How do you complete step one through four? Yes, I did. Uh, power extender kit. Yeah, right here. Take your power extender kit. Wire likely will fill your front front and go to your H rack system. Over your HVAC system cover to reveal the control board. Take a picture of the wires connected. Label your wires. Disconnect the wires. Label the wire. G W on the control board. Connect your wires and disconnect the control. Easy, easy. Let's go. These stickers and label the wires that are coming out of the furnace already. So that's kind of nice. So let's just find them and throw stickers on whichever one is which. Ta-da! Disconnect wires R, Y, G, and W from the circuit board. Connect the wires disconnect from circuit board to the power extender kit, like so. All right, so let's recap what happened. I took the corresponding existing cables that were there. I labeled them via the 
given stickers, I marked them, I placed them into and inserted them into their direct spots on the power pack. The power pack has its own letters that goes into their designated areas. This has a little magnet, magnet sits just like that. I'm gonna tuck some wires in, looking nice and pretty. We're gonna put the cover back in and go inside. So it looks like all that's left to do is take the mounting plate, which goes right, well, feeds the wires right through it, um, secure it top to bottom, and then feed it into the according slot. So this is a W, we find a VW. So if you know anything about me, you know that I'm always screwing up on things. And right now is a screw up. When I said, hey, just connect everything back to where it was and plug it in, I was wrong. Step 14 says, take your stickers, Go to your thermostat, take the old title stickers off and place the new ones on. Not the same ones, but it kind of directs you which one goes where because we did a little rewiring with the little power unit. So let's follow the instructions. This is where it's handy to reference back to your picture that you took. So here's the combination that you have to do. So we have the RH, which is right here, black label, black label. You remove the RC, C and PK. So RH, C and R, those are the only ones. So RH, I don't have C or R. And we're gonna put the sticker RC on it, okay? G gets a C. I used my C white one for the outside already, for the. So this is my only C left, so that was my mistake. And Y gets a PK. So now the board says RC and my cable says RC and RH. That's the one that goes in there. G, which is also C now, is gonna go into C. Y, which is also PK, is gonna go into PK and W this is gonna go in W. Okay. Let's go hit the switch. Hey, we have power. Oh, that's so satisfying. Best part, anytime getting a cell phone. Oh. All right, so the installation process is done. I'm really excited. I'm not gonna lie, I really thought this process is gonna take a lot more time and gonna be a lot more frustrating, but really it is a sophisticated piece of technology that they've simplified it so well that everyday consumer who does not know tech that well can use it and set it up very conveniently. One of my favorite parts about the Ecobee 4 is that yes, it hooks up to the Amazon Alexa, but at the same time, it has these little thermostats that set all over the rooms that you want, and then it helps you regulate the overall temp. So for example, if your house is set up like mine, where the downstairs is where the thermostat is, but the upstairs is not, I could throw one of these upstairs on a shelf, on a wall, and then it will register the same situation to kind of understand what the overall temp of the house is and set according to that. I'm really excited to find out some more features about this device, and I cannot wait to share with you guys. Thanks so much for stopping. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment down below any kind of questions. Have you had one of these? Do you prefer the Nest or anything else that's out there as a competitor? Tune in out this week. We'll see you guys next week. See ya.